That's a lot of power. Nook can just install apps on my phone. <laughs> now, I just need the last four digits of your credit card, and... Hey, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. This is day two on our new island, so if you missed the first part, please check that out. There's a playlist down in the description. Last time, we arrived on an uninhabited isle now known as Ducklebury. Not Tim Town. Sorry, little Timmy, but... I am the resident rep that's basically the mayor of this island. There's not much to it yet, but we did get to choose the name. We met Tom, Timmy, Tommy, the Tanukis. We also met Shari, that little pea monkey that you just saw in the intro. She was flaunting a, a net. We're going to learn how to make some tools this time. And uh, I also have some Shari facts. We'll learn a little bit more about what is going on with that weird little monkey. And then, of course, Teddy... Our jock villager, he's a big orange bear there hiding. He kind of looks like Pooh, the the bear. <laughs> no, <laughs> we got some weird topics starting off here. So let's explore today. There's a, a good amount of stuff to check out because we just got started. Shari, what are you doing? She's like, man, she's already judging my resident rep credentials. She's like, look at all these weeds everywhere. Let's talk to her. Maybe I'll give you guys a Shari fact to start out. Ha! We keep meeting up, so, uh, Minute's been treating you well, Cheeky. I want to chat. Tom Nook's doing sign-ups for a DIY demo session. If you're interested, you should check it out. It's about using stuff around the island to make even better stuff, so you're gonna want some tips. I don't know about you, but I get really attached to things I make. I just like using them more. I bet you'll rock it, DIY. You'll be making cool stuff in no time. Go talk to Tom Nook, Cheeky. So she gave me a recipe. Both of them did, I believe. Let's see, yeah, we got two DIY recipes for a leaf umbrella and oh, the, the DIY workbench was actually from Nintendo as well as a Switch. They sent me one. So we got some layers of uh, of meta stuff going on here. Let's, uh, oop, I didn't mean to shake that. I want to talk to the bear behind the tree. There he is, creeping around. Yo, Groove, you seem hyped as always. Let's chat, Teddy. What are you up to with all those sticks? Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great. Really shows off your... Head muscle, Groof. Checking out my head muscles. He's just making sure that uh, I got brains enough to run this place. Okay, ooh, we got... It's the last month of winter here. It's February, so we do have snowballs, so maybe I should make a snowboy. Ooh, there's the other one. I just scared a dung beetle away, I, I think. <laughs> but let's uh, let's kick these around. It's a little tough to make a perfect snowboy, if you've ever tried. You gotta get them in the right shape, and then I should be able to roll them here soon. Usually the head needs to be... A little bit smaller than the body. Now, I want to bring up my challenges again. I mentioned that last time. There we go. Now we can roll it around. The challenges that I'm going to use for the series to kind of connect real life and my Animal Crossing world and make sure I'm not, you know, neglecting things while I build up my island. The first one is to get some glasses when I get find some glasses in-game. I'm going to get glasses in real life and, and help have my normal life be a little better, a little nicer. And uh, the other one, I just got a challenge in the comments. I want to thank you guys. As of recording, there's like 800 comments on that first part. Lots of people excited to have me back. I really appreciate that. It definitely warmed my heart and got me really excited to keep recording. So I, uh, I did see from Cramped Turtle, he suggested a challenge. Think of something positive I've done whenever I complete a major task. So if I'm unlocking like the museum or something or upgrading my house, I might want to, you know, share something positive. I don't want to start bragging or something about things I've done, but, you know, maybe something inspiring. I can't tell if this is quite the right size. I'm going to give it a go. It's my first real day on the island. I'm not going to get a perfect snowboy on the first day, but let's give it a shot. I think that head's a little, a little too small, but... Hey, nice to meet you. Finally, we can talk to face to face. I was eager to meet you, even when I was still just a million little snowflakes. Nice work rolling me up, bud. As you can see, I'm Snowboy. I won't last forever, so let's have some fun on this island while we can. Now listen, to thank you for making me, I want to share some knowledge about how to craft a special item. Wait, hang on. You've never done DIY before, have you? Like, not even once? Well, that's a problem. Even if I taught you this recipe, you wouldn't know where to begin. Tell you what, I'll just put the recipe on a message card, and then I'll send it to you later. I've heard there's an amazing DIY work workshop available for you over at Resident Services. They'll teach you what's what, so go take that class right away. Then you can try making my special item. And take a large snowflake, too. It's required to craft the item. I placed it with your belongings. W where are your hands? 
Use it to make a special item of mine. Your snow crafting sensibilities are admirable. For your first snow folk, I look pretty good. With just a little more practice, I'm sure you can build a perfect me. I hope you'll craft me again. I'll be monitoring your snowgris. Get out of here with your puns. It's too early in the morning. Maybe you'll make me with a better sense of humor next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he immediately heard me judging him. So, yeah, we got, uh, that's, there's some unique dialogue that I think very rare, you know, very few people have seen that, I'm sure, because it, it's not going to be long before I know how to craft. So, speaking of which, maybe we should go do that and get some of these recipes going. I got a few. Ooh, there's a little message bird. We got a couple bulletins, so, uh, oh, yep. Island Bulletin Board. We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of info for everyone. Yes, yes. I wonder who wrote that. Yeah, Tom, of course. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Thank you, Tom. He didn't sign the other one, but of course, we could tell. Or it could have been Timmy or Tommy. They all say that that way. Okay, it is long overdue for me to craft. That is such a big feature in this game, and I can't wait to make some of this stuff. Let's go see Tom. So this little green tent is the humble origins of resident services, basically the town hall stand-in in this game. This is where Tom Nook hides out from the cold with his favorite of the two orphans he adopted. Poor Tommy, he just got pushed out with a little flag and not even pants to his name. He's wandering around. <laughs> just poor little guy. We'll see him soon. Ah, uh, Adam, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's it's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it'd be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? Okay, so we got a lot of different stuff in here. I'm just gonna go plop down, thank you. Take one of these warm mugs out to poor Tommy. Let's, uh, let's just start with the DIY workshop. Ah, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it'll be quite useful for our life, hmm? Uh, so shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. <laughs> Not doing much, but waiting for me to poke my big head in this tent. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a work workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? Shari and Teddy must have snuck in here and took this while I was uh, napping. For the particular recipe that we're going to hear, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? We should already have... Yep, we got ten, so hopefully we'll be covered. Ah, uh, Adam, found the materials. Necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. And hopefully we will be able to learn those other ones soon. But for now, I'm going to be trying to compete with Teddy and get some good wintry fish here to fill my belly. The only thing we can actually eat is fruit. We just want to collect the fish for fun and, uh, and science at the museum. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. Oh, I'm sending them over, even though we're, like, right next to each other. The digital age. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? There it is. Where'd you get your case? Oh, you can see... The internet just being <laughs> thrown between phones. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. 
Nook, that's a lot of power. Nook can just install apps on my phone. <laughs> now, I just need the last four digits of your credit card, and the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted to, is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you, serve you well for a little while, at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Hmm, that's not usually his role, but we'll show him some fish. Let's learn this. Hmm, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a leaf umbrella. No clapping? Okay, I guess it's not so special. And then let's get our own workbench going. Sweet, got the simple workbench. Thank you, Nintendo, for throwing us a bone there. I'm gonna put my fishing rod. The order you have your tools at the top here controls the order that you swap them around. Let's see if we can make some other stuff here. Should I craft something? Let's do it. We got a couple things. I do want a net. Let's start with that. Now the crafting can be, you know, you can see this animation play out, but then if you want to speed it up, I just wanted to show the slower animation first, and then let's try to make something else. Can we make a camp? I want the DIY bench, but we're also gonna need hardwood and iron for that. We don't have the tree branches. We don't even have enough weeds. I can't make anything. Well, I'll show you the faster one in just a second. Let's uh, let's check out this little bin. Oh, how silly of me to forget. Keep your dirty paws out. Oh, <laughs> he looked like he was gonna get mad at me for touching it. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. He put Booker and uh, Copper out of the job. There's no lost items in this or dump place to uh, to drop your trash. Cardboard box, we'll take that. Usually they're different uh, fruit themes and stuff. But yeah, a bunch of the, the NPCs don't have jobs in this as of right now. Like Harriet, you don't need her to style your hair. You can do that in a mirror, stuff like that. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Oh. We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great. What do we got? Oh, a camp stove and a director's chair. And then he actually does sell a bunch of the tools. I would love a slingshot in case we start hearing some balloons to get recipes. Got some windflowers, hyacinth and mums, saplings. We do want to get these, uh, ooh, he also sells cherries, but we want to get these recipes here. It's probably better for me to just get the recipe for the slingshot than buy it and some beginner stuff. Okay, anything catch your eye? I'm broke, so sorry, they did, but. We're not just sellers, we also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. Because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you for a little bit in return uh, for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. Let's gather some more stuff and then we'll start selling stuff to him. There we go. So I'll head outside and then we can get these tools going. I I know there's less bugs in the winter, so it should be a little less daunting for my first uh, little bit here. Ooh, did I scare it? So if I hit right on the control pad, the fishing rod is the first thing that pops out and then the net, because that's the order in my inventory. Wow, it's a snowflake. It's like a tiny, beautiful sculpture. I don't know if the snowboy would have sent me my recipe yet. And then whatever you put away with down on the control pad, if you hit the button again, you know, right or left, it should always pop out the one that you just had. So yeah, it doesn't matter. The net pops out. Tommy. Hold on a sec, buddy. I want to grab this and then, oh, oh, I missed my chances. There's a butterfly too. Man, <laughs> gotta get, get my aim down here. Yes, I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by. But, uh, but yeah, the uh, the snowflakes, I believe you get like a quick second chance if you do mess it up, but they're all over the place. I don't have to worry about that. Tommy, my boy. How, where can I get that pennant? I do believe they sell it. Oh, Adam, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. I'm still trying to remember the warmth. I, I, it seems so long ago. I can't feel it any longer. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop by for a chat. 
So Tommy X is a tutorial here for a while. He'll, he'll wander the island. It's a little sad when he leaves because I like having some of the NPCs able to get up and go around. I saw someone had an idea before that it was like, maybe there should be like an hour or so each day. Realistically, it should be more, but have a time where the NPCs like Tom can go and wander around and do stuff and then you can actually oop, talk to them. Man, I'm, I'm bad at getting these snowflakes. I will improve here with time. It takes practice. But yeah, the, uh, the NPCs being able to go out and do more stuff, just like the other villagers, it would be nice to see that. Shari, what are you up to? You again, is this island not big enough for the both of us? Do we need a bigger island, Cheeky? She's gonna start marking the trees so I stay away. What's the latest? I kind of moved here on a whim, and I'm not sure I brought enough bells with me, Cheeky. Like, you hear deserted island, and you think you're not even gonna need money. Yeah, I need a plan. Hmm, I heard I can get bells selling fruits and weeds to stuff, and stuff to Timmy. If I do that, maybe I'll be all right. So, Shari fact number one, I just mentioned, uh, squirrel monkeys, they actually use uh, the, a method to mark trees. They're very smart. They have the largest brain to body mass ratio of all monkey species. They're thought to be one of the most intelligent of all primates. Also though, they do rub urine on their hands and tail to mark their territory. Uh, not sure if the two facts are connected, but you can make your own conclusions there. Let's try to get this big pond fish. Maybe a koi or something. It's playing koi. I gotta get my fishing legs and my bug net legs back here. Okay. I like to listen to the sound of the fish. They could bite immediately. Oh, man, I thought he was gonna go after it. They could bite immediately, but I believe it's always by the fifth nibble that they will bite. Ponds are somewhat uh, annoying sometimes to fish in because the fish can just turn around compared to the ocean where they will uh, always swim in the one uh, towards the shore, typically. Ooh, is that a carp? Yes, I caught a carp. If I catch another one, they can carp carp pool. I was going to say carpool, but the pun should be, if you're saying carp, it would be carpool, but I don't know. No, <laughs> let's not worry too much about all of the wildlife humor that we're sure to encounter on, along the way. Just a subtle... Oh, there we go. And you hear that bloop. That's one to, to reel them in. There's a subtle vibration, though. Caught a horse mackerel? Of course. Mac... Er... L. I don't know if I get that one. <laughs> Some of these, uh, <laughs> they're either subtle or I just, I can't wrap my brain around them. I do have this giant little villager head and strong head muscles, according to our buddy Teddy, but where is Teddy? I haven't seen him in a little bit. Tommy's scoping out my house. I think I have enough weeds. We want to get more sticks, though, if we're going to make some stuff. And then... Eventually, ooh, nothing from that one. Eventually, we should be able to get our axe and actually get some wood to get that crafting table. Ooh, the slosh of stuff from these trees. Now, the uh, the fruit trees, I believe I mentioned last time, it's like you want to leave some of the normal trees around. They have seasonal looks to them, so it is nice to not just only have fruit trees, even though they're the big money makers. But actually, you can find every single day, you can find two pieces of furniture five wasps and their nests, which are pretty good money, and uh, I believe 10 hundred bell coins will fall from the trees. So if you, you kind of trim your trees down, so to speak, get rid of some of them, then you can uh, actually get those items very consistently. If you want to keep like 17 trees around, then uh, there we go. We got some bells. Our first hundred bells. We're going to go and make our fortune. The reason I am... Oops, keeping my net out is if you shake the tree from the front oh we just got another there we go special bug there yes I caught a bagworm guess I'm a bragworm that one's a little more direct if we keep to the front of the tree oops, then we can surprise something that is very scary yes I caught a damselfly now it's a damselfly in distress hopefully not it is going in a pocket but but yeah, you want to uh, you want to shake them from the front, just to be sure you're not gonna get in hot water here. There's Teddy. He's wandering around. He couldn't get too far. 
I believe we needed, uh, we'll probably do like 10 or so sticks to be safe because we're gonna craft a couple things. Hey, we meet again, Groof. You going on a picnic, man? He's got all the fruits on that little, uh, handkerchief. Let's chat. Someone said we could set our furniture up anywhere we like. Oh, except for in the plaza. I'm thinking of putting together an outdoor gym. What do you think? If you got an idea you think will get everyone pumped, don't hold back, Groof. So let's show that real quick, because, yeah, we can we can just throw... Not recommended. They are portable, but we can throw our Nintendo Switch down. It's not the uh, the Animal Crossing version. But, yeah, the, uh, the Switch... <laughs> just leave this outside for people to enjoy. I'm playing one right now, so maybe Teddy wants to play with it. Can we turn it on? <gasps> Ooh, there we go. Gotta have that that sound. This makes me think of like a Smash Brothers trailer or something. I won't leave it on. The battery life's not that great, honestly. But I don't usually play mine portably, but it is nice, yeah, when you got uh, multiple people playing a game like Animal Crossing and uh, someone wants to use the TV, someone plays portably. It's a nice cozy way to do that. Let's grab another damselfly here. Woohoo! And maybe some snowflakes. I'm getting my aim down. I'm getting, I'm starting to remember. There we go. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of find, uh, I don't know if I, which one I enjoy more. I feel like catching stuff with the net is a bit faster, so you, you can do it a lot quicker, but it's over the river, so I, I'll get another chance here if I just, there we go. He'll come back. But yeah, fishing, fishing tends to be better money a lot of the time, I find, just because you can get some, uh, some big honking fish and pay off stuff, but at the same time, you can get a ton of money for certain bugs. Some of the creepy crawly ones are very good. Man, I'm already getting a lot of this. I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb here. No, we're shaking trees, but didn't mean to, all the puns are rubbing off on me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that the amount of trees, because we're getting so many of them, the amount of trees that have bugs and uh, or uh, money and furniture and things is going to be limited to the ones that I can actually access right now so i.e. the uh, the ones around here that I've been shaken and not over the river where I can't go I want to see yeah the snow boy probably has not dropped off that recipe we'll have to get that tomorrow but I would love to know what I can make because I got some snowflakes now and I uh, feel like it'll be a little Nice to have some something fancy for my tent before we can have that be an actual home. See, so yeah, the fish will just be like, mm, nah, I heard a splash. I'm not gonna look that way. I gotta be quicker. He's gonna turn before we can actually get him. Oh, uh, I did it too soon. Now another uh, another thing that is good to remember. Ooh, there we go. And we also got. Oh, don't want to take a picture, but we could if we wanted to. These get saved to the home menu. A retro radiator. Let's get out of that. Uh, another thing to remember is that one of the nook miles is to get a hundred uh, fish in a row caught, and that's uh, that is pretty tough to do without missing one. So we've got a bunch of different ones here. I believe, yeah, you can hit the right stick down, it'll jump to the one. Shady Shakedown. Rumor has it that someone on this island likes to hide furniture in trees. Yes, yes. I'll give you Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you shake out of trees, so get out there and shake. There we go. Got custom stamps for each one. Carefree figure. I might use Carefree, because that's, you know, the name of the game here on this island is what I'm trying to go for. That's the one that just had the leaf in it, so of course, <laughs> that's not going to have it. We should go craft soon. We're stuck going to see old Tom and resident services until we can make our own workstation. I like to have a couple around. I feel like it's nice to have a uh, a couple crafting tables or workbenches. Like maybe I'll keep one, you know, outside the house and maybe put one on the other side of the island where it would be a pain to have to go all the way back, you know, to craft. It's nice to have them all over the place. Right now, wood is hard to come by. We can't even hit any of these trees to harvest. So of course, oops, try to get a little closer. Of course, it's gonna be something where we're not going to be able to make a lot of them. We don't even have any iron either because we don't have a shovel, but we could use an axe to hit the rocks that we have. So I will uh, try to make one here pretty soon. How many sticks we got? That's probably a good amount. I need to go sell some of this stuff. Now the impulse would be 
to, uh, it's hard to remember what trees I've already shaken, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about that. We're getting stuff anyways, and you can keep shaking the same tree if you want to get sticks and stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to get stung. I'm going to get it because your villager will automatically turn to face the wasps as they come out. Yes, I caught a wasp. That's got a sting. And then you can just get them. Oh, there goes my net. Oh, no, it's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy net. And that should be about ten creatures here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, with the snowflakes. So the flimsy net only has ten durability. It is very flimsy. That's ten catches you can miss. It's okay, but it counts how many things you caught. Using a tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work and praise of your good deeds. You're getting nook miles based on how many tools you've broken. That's our first one, you rascally clown. Later, you can do some techniques with refurbishing tools, and then you don't have to worry about them breaking so much. So this is where we keep all our DIY recipes, and we can register favorites, which I might as well do with some of these. I didn't want to make this. There we go. You can also check how much material we have for some of this stuff. I'm getting a couple more tree branches here because I believe... Oh, yeah, we don't... Have... Yeah, we're going to have to go and... Uh... Hmm, a little bit of a risky proposition, but I'll just shake the ones I know do not have wasps in them. And uh, if you clear the area around trees, of course, you're more likely to have stuff actually have a, a place to fall. But as long as there's some room, it'll, it'll fall. It might just go disappear in the weeds if we're not careful. There we go. I just want to get 15. I think that's the amount to make all the stuff. There we go. Okay, so let's head over there. I'm going to sell some of the stuff. Honestly, though, before we get too far into it, I'm going to go over near my house and, uh, and drop some stuff off. So I was going to say the impulse is to sell a lot of these bugs early on, and I could do that, or I could save them here. I don't, usually don't want to put a fish on top of a bug. It's gonna, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna place these down because I want to make sure I have some of them ready when a certain someone comes by pretty soon. So I'm just gonna save you know the first one I get of every bug and fish. That's just kind of how I, uh, I like to do it. Ooh, can't put that on a smaller bug. But let's plop that wasps down. The wasps are good money. I believe they're two thousand five hundred bells a piece and they're pretty easy to get I can sell this second damselfly though but I do want to make sure I save some of this stuff like yeah we don't want to accidentally sell our snowflakes or our uh, our nice rocks and things we're gonna need if you hold a over something this is you know standard stuff but I know a lot of people when the game first came out didn't realize you could move stuff around in your inventory let's throw some stuff out here I'm gonna make it look like you know we're uh, Settling in. Oh, I didn't want to drop. I wanted to place. Talk about amateur mistakes. Oh, we actually can't put that out. Okay, that's an inside only item. That wasn't my fault. I wasn't reading, but it still wasn't my fault. I'm going to put the uh, the box over here, and then we could maybe put the switch on it. This one. Yeah, let's plop that down. Is that one? It's just a normal cardboard box. You can get different fruit styles on the boxes. And yeah, let's let's throw the switch on there. Let's give uh, little Tommy something to do while he's wandering around in the in the cold. There we go. I'm gonna move this so I stop thinking that is one of the things that I want to <laughs> do something for. And I can sell some shells and stuff. I keep thinking I'm yeah. That's why you gotta have your tools on you at all time. You never know when a butterfly is gonna flutter by, and uh, you need a net, of course. Okay, look at Tom's reading. What do you think you're doing there, Tom? He's getting, yeah, he's, he's already like, eh, I don't, I don't want to go out in the cold. I'll just stay inside and have my tea and withhold it from my adopted son. Uh, welcome, Adam. How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Let's get rid of these shells. We don't really need these cherries. I'm not sure if I'm going to be into that radiator, but we'll, we'll hold on to it for now. And, of course, the other damselfly we caught. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done! You can buy these. I can buy these from you for a total of 2,200 bells. Sound good? Let's do it. And we might be able to afford one of the things in the shop. Thank you. Please come again. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. Has anyone shared that with you? <laughs> what I mean is, you could even break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. 
Now it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but once you, uh, you should try eating it once in a while too. And if you want to get rid of that fruit power because you don't want to smash a rock, you can sit on a turlet and get rid of it. Nice little secret. Seller of unwed stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. Down and out eventuality. Okay. Let's look at my uh, my passport really quick here. This is where I keep all my information about my island. It can be seen by other players. People are looking at this. Oh no, right this moment. You can change your photo, customize your title. So yeah, I've got cherry. It tells you, you know, your town fruit and everything. Let's uh, let's do another photo here. Maybe we'll have Tom in the background, and then we'll zoom in a little. I do want to have it a little zoomed out. I think maybe so that Tom's in there. I just think that'll be fun. Can't move around during this, but I can look over. Let's. Uh, we don't actually have any expressions yet. We can add some filters and stuff and make it, you know real crazy but let's just go with oh no i can't okay i can move the camera a little bit just with the control pad but i still need to kind of be in frame how about now i want to make sure tom wasn't blinking there we go okay and then we're gonna change that let's edit my comment i would like to oh no not my comment i want to change my title title there we go i think i yeah what was the carefree you got some others that are already unlocked like city folk and Happy home, you know, the the other games. I'm gonna be a carefree, hmm, island dweller, island resident's pretty good. Carefree eventual. Carefree clown, there we go. <laughs> I like that. All right. I did go to clown school in uh, in City Folk, if you remember that. Or was that, I think we talked about it in City Folk and then New Leaf. I, uh, I pursued clown school. We built it in the museum, if you haven't seen those. <laughs> Your passport has some information you can edit. Nook Inc. will give Nook Miles to folks who customize their profiles. Take it slow. Think about it. Make it on your own. Or make it your own. Future Traveler. So these miles are, uh, we're going to pay off our house with them. But there's also other stuff we can do. Some things you exclusively need to use the miles for. Let's talk to Tom real quick. Ah, oh, Adam. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Hmm. About my moving fees. We're going to need quite a few more miles, I believe, to pay this off. I'd like to pay your moving fees. We owe 5,000 miles, so let's talk about when you had a chance to earn a few more miles. Hmm. There's no need to rush. No, no. Enjoy your island life and save up those miles. Old Tom never forgets. Okay, so remember, we're going to do... We're speed this up. Remember how slow it was before. I'll do it one more time so you get to see. This is the normal crafting animation. Still a lot faster than I could make a net. But there we go. And then we're going to keep crafting. I'm going to make a campfire. And here we go, speed it up. If you tap A, he just goes crazy. There he goes, he's done already. Man, before I could even finish the sentence. And uh, let's get an umbrella. They're fun, makes me think of my neighbor Totoro. Not really anything to the umbrella. Like, you don't have to use one when it rains. You won't get sick or anything. Despite this being a Japanese-made game where there's a lot of, a lot of Japanese stuff, there's very, it's, a lot of people are intense about uh, making sure you stay out of the rain, because I know it's believed that you can get really sick from the rain. I think that's another cultural thing. Of course you, you can, especially if you don't dry yourself off after, but but I know that there's always, yeah, sometimes you'll watch a show or something and it feels like the end of the world if you don't get out of the rain. I got two nets here, because I just know one of them is going to go. I'll put my umbrella over there as well. All right, we got a lot of good stuff here. I could have sold the wasp's nest, but you can actually use it to make medicine. So I think I'm going to save that. And, uh, ooh, we, of course, we got some more miles. These will cool down as we go, but we're doing a lot of firsts. If your tools break, just make more. And to take away the sting, you'll earn miles based on the number of tools you craft. Sweet deal. There we go. We've already got a creative enthusiasm for crafting tools. I think, yeah, we made all the stuff. Oh, if we have some money, though, can we afford the recipes? Can I help you? I want to see what's for sale. We got, I don't really need the stove and the director's chair. And I would like the sling, yeah, we can get both of them. DIY for beginners is a digital DIY recipe book. Let's see, 480 bells, what do you think? I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. Yes, thank you for the 480 bells. Okay, time to send the recipes from DIY for beginners to your phone. That's more of a tablet for that little guy. Look at that. 
he could use his nose if he's cold and he doesn't have want his paws out and in, in the winter he could just touch it with his big schnoz and he could uh touch screen there and we're done i hope you enjoy diy even more now with your new recipes let's get the other one too i want to get that slingshot before we start seeing some uh some balloons that we can't actually grab float by that's it Oh, thank you very much. Please don't hesitate to ask me for assistance. I made him a little more grateful than he actually said. This one we read on our own. It's a piece of paper. Wasteful, Timmy, when you could do this on your phone. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a slingshot. And then we'll grab those miles. I'm sure for, you know, you gave Timmy some money. Good on you, he was an orphan. Nook Inc. will reward Nook, Nook Miles for number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that. As a trivia representative, we have earned, or you're earning for learning. Yes, yes. All right. And we also got first time buyer. You won't get miles every time you buy something on the island, but the first time is special. Enjoy those miles courtesy of Nook Inc., a full fledged consumer. Oh no, we're being absorbed into capitalism. That's why I came to this island to escape it. Let's see what else we can craft. Should I craft something? Of course. We just got a bunch of new recipes. Okay, we can get a hay bed. A frying pan, not the best use of iron early on, I have to say. You want to save a lot of that. A stone stool, we could do that right now. An old-fashioned wash tub for some soft wood. There's three types of wood to collect. We've got soft wood for wooden toy blocks. Oh, an ocarina. Need some clay. And the slingshot, we need hardwood for that. Might as well make this uh, little hay bed here. we got some leaves. There we go, leaves flying all over you. <laughs> Tom's going to be sneezing. Let's see, yeah, I think that's about all we can do right now with the materials. I could make this, but I wanna save my stone because we're gonna be using it for some tools soon. Okay, so let's get back out there. I wanna see if we can uh, find anything else going on in the town now that we got our net, two of them. I wanna get some more bugs and stuff. Hey, who left that? I would like to find, uh, we, we used the snowballs already, but I'm like, I want to get that dung beetle, because that is, I believe, the one unique, uh, maybe one of a few unique bugs to the winter time. It's kind of nice, yeah, I'm going to hopefully be able to get everything in the winter here and then catch up. If you notice, we're not actually on real time. I wanted to give myself a little bit of a, uh, a buffer to get things going before we started to run into the holidays, like festival and stuff, I, I wanted to not have things too crazy starting out. And that'll be interesting to see if we don't have the, the town hall built, really, if they're gonna be dancing around there. I guess you can still dance on dirt. Okay, I'm gonna try to get another fish here. So we got plenty of new animals stockpiled. I forgot how subtle the vibration is. Ooh, I'm so tempted. Yes, I caught a red snapper. It look, looks pretty dapper. I'm tempted to sell that because they're worth a lot of money at the same time, though. I know we should probably say this belongs in a museum. Let's throw that down. Ooh, we hit another milestone. They should have called them Nook Mile, or they do call them Milestone, never mind. <laughs> it's like, of course, it's right there. Exterior decorator, you can display furniture outside, right? Well, here's a little incentive for you to show off what you've got. You'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you set up outside. So we Cluttered the island up with 10. We are an outdoor, de loving, decorating fiend already. Let's see what else we can do here. Now, you can find DIY recipes in bottles on the beach, but I believe we might have to wait a little longer for that. Let's see if we can get uh, any more wasps. I know you can uh, You can actually get a, uh, a recipe for getting stung. So we probably should let that happen. If we're getting ready to end the day here, I kind of feel like maybe we should just get stung and uh, and just have that happen because you can either use medicine to get better or just wait till the next day that you'll get healed. But, you know, that's a rite of passage for any Animal Crossing player is to be just terrified of the wasps in this game. Oh no, we lost that one because there wasn't, yeah. I didn't follow my own advice. We gotta start picking weeds. That one really jumped, it almost flew into Teddy's tent to make sure that I could pick it up. And another thing too, of course, you want to try to pick a lot of fruit because it takes a few days to grow back. But right now I'm not too worried about making money. We're doing all right. We're paying stuff off with Miles. That's what I should be doing is making sure I have enough 
Nook Miles to pay for, uh... Oh, speaking of which, we just got another thing. I want to get that 5,000. Nook Phone Life. Getting used to using your Nook Phone. The fact that you've been reading this probably means you have. Keep using it. Enjoy some Nook Miles for just getting familiar with it. There we go. Smartphone Savant. We're pretty close to being able to pay off our little tent. So that might be my goal here. We can go a little bit a little bit longer. I don't want to have these too unmanageable for you guys to watch if uh, posting them pretty frequently. That's another... It's not a, necessarily a challenge, but... It's another thing that I'm kind of aiming to do with videos now is, you know, not try to get bogged down by always having something every day and and becoming uh, stressed out by trying to... No, I got him. No, but yeah, uh, sometimes it can get a little tough to, to keep up with and always find time to record, so I want to try to have a good video and uh, outside of video and games life balance, as is kind of the goal of these challenges I'm setting for myself, so I, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys agree that that is something good to strive for, to not go too crazy. So yeah, I, I uh, want to make sure these are manageable for you guys to keep up with and manageable for me to record, but this game, I could play it for so long because it is definitely a uh, nice laid-back, stress-free game to play, so... Right now, we're trapped here, so I definitely need to progress some things by earning enough oop, enough of that bell so we can get off of this little bit because we are stuck here. I don't mind being stuck with Tommy. I'm trying to remember what trees I've even shook. I'm beginning to think maybe there's not going to be five wasps in this little area, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see. We got... A good amount of sticks and stuff. I'm getting overloaded on things. I do need to get some miles. Tommy, give me a tip, little buddy. Where should we head? Feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything you need to help you get used to living here. That reminds me, have you used the Nook Stop inside Resident Services? You should, even if you don't really need anything. Accessing it once per day will get you some Nook Miles. And you'll earn even more miles if you use it multiple days in a row. It's an easy way to earn some miles. Thank you, Tommy. I was just thinking about earning miles. I'm already bought into Tom Nook's twisted system. I think, uh, yeah, we're pretty close here. I think we can hit 5,000 pretty quickly. So let's do that. Oh, don't touch that! <laughs> oh, how could I forget? Hmm, I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Adam. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on the island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bill dispenser, or ABD, or for the Bank of Nook. I can't believe you named that. <laughs> We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. I feel like it would be either Nook's voice or he would make Tommy record it. I'm gonna, that's my head cannon. Once per day, access the Nook Stop will reward you a daily, bonus daily miles. So we get 50 bonus miles for one day. Please select, you can get up to, yeah, a week, I believe is what Tommy was telling us. Ooh, okay, tape deck, nice little knit hat. Nothing too tempting yet. Ooh, to the edge. That's more money than I got. It's a little rich for my blood. I would like to get maybe a little hat that is warmer for the winter climate. And of course, c collecting those records is important to me. We gotta get KK's music here. I don't think we really need to deposit any right now, but you do get interest when the, the month rolls over. It's, it's kind of good to deposit instead of just paying towards your debt, because what if you need those bills? And Tom doesn't charge you interest. The only interest you get is good interest that adds bills. Welcome, Adam. How can I help you today? Okay, I'm going to sell some stuff, and then we'll get a few more miles here. Maybe even just selling this stuff is going to be enough for us to get the rest of those miles. We got a nice hay bed that I need to place somewhere. There we go. Look at all the fine things. There we go. That's enough to buy that record, so I think I'm going to do that. I know there's other stuff I should be spending my money on, but I want to get some nice music. We can't even actually play it yet, honestly. Pick of the bunch. You'll get Nook Miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruits to other islands, you might be able to get a better price. Well, we've already sold 34 inexperienced, inexperienced observationalists. Okay. 
I, I, now that I had, you know, five seconds to think about it, I'm like, honestly, maybe I should just wait, because I don't know if To the Edge is even that d near and dear of a song to me. This is the map, so we can change settings and look at different stuff. You can see there's Resident Services if we get lost, the airport. There's Teddy. It looked like he fused with his house. It's a slightly different shade of orange, though. And that's where everybody is, so. And then, yeah, if we get stuck, we'll, we'll see some of the rest of this later, but another day. But, yeah, we can... Uh, we can get kind of trapped in this game if you're not careful. I think, uh, not really anything we would do right now, but later when you can terraform, then, uh, you can, uh, just kind of get in a bad way, and maybe a familiar old curmudgeon will pop up and help you, but... Teddy, what are you doing, buddy? You got any miles for me sitting around? Check me out, I'm gonna catch the biggest, baddest fish on the island, Groof! He loves to hide behind the trees and be mysterious. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're a little stuck here unless we catch some good stuff because I can't make my slingshot yet. I can't make uh, any other tools than what we got. I'd love if this snowboy would give me his his recipe. It's my birthday today. Cake sounds yummy, but no candles, please. Oh, making all his snowman jokes. Did we? I don't know if we actually combed the whole beach that we could here. I believe we did. Ooh. There's some good bells. Coral is worth a good amount. A lot of the shells can be used for crafting later. And crafting things, if you if you make something and sell it, it'll always sell for double the materials you put in, except for fruit stuff. That, that doesn't work for whatever reason. And then, yeah, it's uh, another good thing later on is you can get like five times the amount for certain items. So it is good to, uh, to maybe save some of your materials for those times. I don't think we're gonna be finding much else in some of these trees but I'm not worried about bells I want to get some some nice miles so let me see if I can uh, catch a few things here that's my my strategy too is uh, if we if we get some times where I'm you know doing a, a little bit of the same stuff I might just you know I can do some editing make it a little more brisk for you guys because I believe we have exhausted most of this stuff Let's go throw, yeah, before I end up doing that, I'm gonna go throw things into my house because we got a couple of house, I use that term loosely, into my tent because we got <laughs> we got a couple new things here that we can pop down. Can I throw this? Oh, not the hay bed. That's for outside. Oh, can't hang things on the wall in that man. Can we, I'm just gonna drop that outside, I think, because we have to wait on that one, the campfire. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we're gonna have to wait on some of this stuff. And then it was the hay bed. Let's put the campfire and the hay bed down. And then maybe Teddy will take a nap and burst into flames. No, we don't wanna have those too close together. I kinda think the campfire would be cool right here. Cause it's uh, a nice little, nice little thing on the coast if we're gonna, oh, we gotta light it, there we go. This will make sure, you know, nobody crashes into Ducklebury. Cause that could be an issue. Planes are the only things coming in and out of here, but you never know. I'm gonna get some type of mileage uh, achievement thing for getting a bajillion snowflakes in one day. There we go. Let's see how many I have. I don't think those are really worth selling. We got a couple piles, yeah. They stack up to ten. I don't think they're really worth selling, but it is something that uh, we can maybe craft stuff and sell it if we end up not wanting our tent to look like Elsa's camping or something. So I'm gonna keep grabbing those. But yeah, we got we got some bugs and fish. We are still, oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, two nets is a little overkill sometime. Let's talk to Tom and see what else we can do because he might actually give us some more advice on what he, uh, he wants to progress because if I remember correctly, that is important to get some uh, some info from him because I we might need to do some other stuff to get miles here. We're we're right on the edge of the amount of miles that we could probably get in a day. But good old Tom, he will he will he'll guide us, and then we'll probably end out. I don't have to get my you know tent progressed in one day. I can sit back and enjoy a nice can of green with Tom here. Let's tuck the tuck that right in his <laughs> his pocket. Ah, oh, Adam, hello, hello. Would you like to talk about? I'm all ears. Let's, uh, let's ask him what I should do. Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, this island is a diverse habitat. 
for many interesting creatures you know other than us. Oh, yes, yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish if you practice with your net and fishing rod. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you do catch. Mm, by all means, bring them to me. So, I uh, actually forgot he said that. Let's go grab... Let's go grab that stuff I threw down. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think in my mind I'm like, oh, you know, a certain owl isn't around, so I'm just going to save those for later. Silly me, I forgot that our resident big tanuk is uh is interested in them right now so i'm just gonna bring them all over if i got room and it looks like i do we'll see what tom says and then we'll we'll probably end out here thank you guys so much for watching thank you to shari for keeping me on my toes not wanting to get too close to those tail and uh, grabbers <laughs> oh did i yeah we did do shari facts i think i did cover the challenges we haven't had any major thing. We did learn to craft, but I'm going to save that uh, that second challenge from Cramped Turtle for the next episode. Okay. Hello, hello. I love the animalese. I found a creature. Probably only need one. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's, uh, let's show him I mean, the butterfly just in case he's like, mm, I'm going to maybe don't mind if I eat that thing you just gave me. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a common butterfly. Hmm, if this island can support a common butterfly, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Adam, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Go for it. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your common butterfly. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Oh. Something maybe to keep track of critters for me? We've been catching quite a few. There it is. We downloaded the Critterpedia. I forgot that's what it's called. <laughs> I said critters. I send you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me, too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Let's see if he wants anything else. What would you like to talk about? I'm all ears. I did find more creatures, Tom. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at that one as well. Let's try to keep track of which ones, because I believe we're going to have to uh, catch some of these again later if we want to hear more about them from someone. Oh, what a catch! I do believe this is a horseback girl. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Go for it. They're pretty common. They're not worth much either. Thank you. I promise I'll take extra good care of this. Your horse mackerel. Shove it in his pocket. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? I have. Right next to you. That's great. Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Here we go. Now we can get some more resources. Bloop. Maybe we'll get those last miles here. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with a recipe to craft an axe. Yes, yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island, because so many other things are made of wood. Mm -hmm. Hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. You want any more of these things? I've just got water leaking out of my pockets and thoraxes. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at that one as well. Let's go with the damselfly. They're pretty common. It's also not worth as much, too. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a damselfly. I, I, I tell you, though, my museum intentions are pure. I'm not trying to just give them the cheapest bucks. <laughs> Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature? Yep. We're going to send that along. Thank you. I promise I'll take extra good care of your damselfly. Absorbed it into my sweater for power. By the way, I have a proper reward for you this time. I believe he wants five of these. I've given you a red eye synth bag, just a little sample of our product. Go ahead and do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have a beautiful blooming flower, even in winter. Anyway, give it a whirl, and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. I hope you'll keep bringing any new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes, yes. All right, a few more here. One more creature, and or one more bug, and one more fish, maybe. Let's see. I'm starting to have to pick. Bagworm's pretty common, and carps as well. I'm going to keep the big money items, the snapper and the wasps. I do believe this is a bagworm. Yep, let's send that along. Thank you. I promise I'll take good care of it. 
Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. But if you water them every day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibilities of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare flowers. He's gonna make sure I can water them and not the way Shari uses. And how might you water them, you ask? Well, I'll just send you the DIY recipe for a watering can. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free. But you've collected creatures for me, Adam, so this is a, just a part of island give and take. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of island experience. Yes, yes. So Tom, you know, Tom of course, wants to hook us in, make sure we're progressing in playing so that he can get more bells out of us. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at that one as well. There we go. Take this carp and go in good fortune. What a catch. I do you believe this is a carp? There we go. Thank you. He's gonna, yep. <laughs> Just picture a weird sound. Hold the phone, someone's calling. All right, we hit the five creatures. Let's get that going. Blathers, is that you? Oh, oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we're decided to call Ducklebury. Yes, yes, I know it's quite a stupid name, but the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm-hmm. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way to know just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Well, oh, <laughs> I glanced over at Timmy and forgot what I, where I was. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. Just hung up on his oldest and dearest owl friend. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Uh, but I could use your help, Adam. <laughs> Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We'll need a good size spa space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. We're going to plop that down to finish up. I'll worry about crafting more stuff later and planting flowers and such. Let's get the museum down and end out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Where could we put this thing? It's got to be in the main area, of course. Can't be in the plaza. I'm gonna take a look at my map and give it some thought here. Ooh, my apps are moving around. Hmm, maybe, I don't know about near the airport. I kinda like the idea of it not being too far from here, but we're also right near water. Maybe plop it right near Shari's tent? No, she wouldn't appreciate that probably. One more snowflake for the snowboy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. We could even put it on the beach, which is kinda fun. I. I feel like, uh, the customization, oh, yep, tried the two, it got away. The customization, uh, that we're allowed can be a little paralyzing sometimes. I was kind of thinking maybe up here where we got some more room. You don't want it too close to the river because it could block things. Don't want it too close to the plaza because then it'll be kind of, I don't know, just wouldn't... Wouldn't quite fit. I think right here seems good. Let's see how much room it's gonna take. I know because you gotta be ready for the full kit and caboodle, then yeah, you gotta have a good amount of room. Let's imagine it. I'm gonna knock a couple trees out of here, maybe a cherry tree or two, but hmm. I'm gonna go one over so that we don't knock that other tree out. But again, if we, yeah, we use some fruit, that doesn't matter. We can move trees and, uh, actually see what a tree is if you can dig it up with a shovel. Of course, we don't have one of those yet. <laughs> All in good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's plop this down. That is a good spot. Look at that little owl tent. Another thing that is uh, kind of rarely seen is the cute little tent for Blathers. He can set up his place now. We're not gonna have this very long, so let's enjoy it while it lasts. Like most things in life, you just gotta, you know, can be fleeting, but we're gonna have fun while we can. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And I'm gonna end out here. Good first day. Ooh, I can't resist this. Ooh, or can I? Ah, <laughs> I couldn't resist it, but I didn't get it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. More on the way in the future. And of course, some other games. If you haven't checked out, I've got a lot of different series out there. Slightly stalling for time to see if I can get a nice fish. 
it will probably just be a sea bass, but the first of many, of course. Thanks again. All right. The fish was generous knowing. Oh, very generous. That snapper knew I was ending, so he's like, I'll bite. Don't worry. Thanks again, guys, and see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Goodbye.